history, a Mountain West Conference champion for the first time in your career. How does it feel, Jonah? Oh, it feels amazing. You know, this is a goal that we work for day in and day out. Uh, so it's just all trust in the teammates, all trust in the process, and I'm glad we were able to get it done tonight. How good does it feel just to step back finally and, and relax for a moment, enjoy, enjoy the fruits of your guys' labor? Gosh, yeah, it's amazing. You know, we worked so hard. We've come so far. Uh, a lot of time and attention dedicated into our craft. And, and tonight we saw our brand of football, and we're Mount West champions, baby. How much has the last couple of weeks been, Jonah? You guys have been through a lot. What's been different about this team over these last three weeks? We all just came together. You know, we, we, we recognized that this was the time to come together in this moment. We asked for two weeks, two weeks to play our brand of football, two weeks to come together, two weeks to play smart, fast and physical. And, um, and and that's just who our team is. You know, we all love each other. We have a different type of energy. We have a different type of team in this building. And we're, and we're just grateful to bring this trophy back home to Boise. Two weeks has turned into three weeks. Three weeks is about to turn into a month and a half. Jonah, earlier this week, you were named second team all Mountain West. I think anybody that follows you and has watched you play know that you're the best kicker in the Mountain West Conference. Do you have any added confidence uh, or ad added, uh, I guess, uh, momentum or uh, were, you, were you feeling like you are out to prove something? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Every, day, every game I want to prove something, but it's the confidence that I get from my teammates. It's the com uh, confidence I get from the coaches. You know, I do, I'm able to do what I do because of all of these guys and, and just loving up in each other, and they're giving me all the confidence in the world to, to go and do my thing. And so uh, just grateful for these guys because every single day, you know, they, they, they allow me to do what I do. Jonah, get in there. Celebrate with your teammates. Thanks, Congratulations. Jay. Thanks, Jay. Let's go. Mountain West champion Jonah Dalmas, like I said, the best kicker in the Mountain West Conference, in my opinion, sure. But uh, I think it's also pretty much backed up by his stats. A couple of field goals today, helping Boise State put this game away. Right now, Alexander Tubner accepting his defensive MVP trophy on the stage. You can also see Spencer Danielson and his wife, Rachel. They just accepted the championship trophy. It is coming back to Boise State for the first time since the 2019 season. It has been a while for this program. Garrett Curran. You can see them celebrating up on the big stage right here. I am joined now by Garrett Curran. This offensive line, Garrett, has been something else. You see uh, Spencer Danielson on the stage. Alexander Tubner, some words right there, encouraging maybe his hiring process. What has he meant to you guys over these last three weeks as you've looked for stability? So Coach D's just want us to play fast, play smart, and play together with the emphasis on playing together, coming from a place of love, doing it for each other. And I really think that's what we've done over the last couple of weeks. And he just provided that spark, let us play free, let us go out and dominate, do what we need to do. It's been amazing. Play fast, play smart. I'd say play free as well. How much fun has football been? Football's been a blast. It's always a game that I've loved, but it's been a, it's a, it's a great group. I love these guys. You know, the O-line is a special unit in my heart. Like, throughout my career, like, this is a, a, a tight-knit group, and I love being a part of it every single day. You've been here for quite a while, been to, since 2019, since you guys have gotten this done. How good does it feel? It feels great. It's just, uh, you know, that dead period without a championship for, for those years was definitely a place that was hurting my heart, and uh, it feels amazing to get that, that trophy back to Boise, Idaho. Garrett, go celebrate with your friends, man. I appreciate it, buddy. Congratulations. Garrett Curran leading the best offensive line in the Mountain West Conference to a Mountain West Conference championship trophy. Hey, guess what? The trophy's coming by right now. The Craig Thompson Mountain West Conference championship trophy. My guy from the 253 Tacoma, Washington, Jalen Clark. Uh, what do you got here, man? How good does this feel to, to finally have in your, your possession? It's definitely been a while. I ain't got one yet. But at the end of the day, one thing they can't take away from us in this brotherhood is that we're champions. And we're going to go back. We're going to go celebrate. Come on. I heard you talking to Cottonelli Caneo just a moment ago. You guys committed to Boise State quite a while ago. It's your first chance getting to experiencing this. How long have you waited for this moment? Like you said, three years strong. Three years strong going through COVID, different um, coaching exchanges. But at the end of the day, staying together and sticking with Coach D and great things can happen. They call it the go-go offense. Yeah. You guys put up the stop sign to that thing today. What was so effective about it? Um, I think being able to tackle, you know, they got a lot of good running backs and explosive receivers, but being able to, you know, hone in on stopping the run, which is what we've always been able to do, uh, that helped us a lot in that game. Amarion McCoy, a better cameraman or a better cornerback? He got his chair today. Yep. He came up with a big-time pick. He did, and that's my guy right there, straight out of East Palo Alto. And, you know, it 
it is he got him his pick, and he deserved this as much as anyone. Jalen Clark getting it done. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm, you got, you're, got, you're holding the camera, but I'm going to come over and ask you, man. How good did it feel to get an interception on this stage, Amari? Man, it, it feels amazing. Um, I was waiting waiting to do this all my life. Um, where I came from, it was hard. Things were hard and things like that. But I'm just I'm just glad I pushed through it and, and I was able to do everything and get get a pick on this stage, man. Amari, do you want to set that down, buddy? Uh, I'm working. Come on, <laughs> no, I'm working. Um, take me back one year ago at this time and tell me the difference in settings that you're experiencing right now. An NFL venue, a Mountain West champ? Man, one one year ago from here, man, I probably had about 1,000 fans there. Man, it's, it's it, changed, it changed my life, man. It's, it's crazy. I'm loving it. My, my family's here, they're loving it as well, and just I'm just happy to do it. Congratulations, man. Mountain West champ, Amariya McCoy, got a big time interception in the game today for the Boise State football team as they ultimately pulled away. This game, never within doubt. Boise State take an early lead in this contest, never looked back. They forced turnovers. They made explosive plays on the defensive side of the ball. Speaking of guys that make explosive plays, Andrew Simpson. Um, I got to ask, how do you haul down that interception with one hand? I mean, since I got the club on, we've been talking about catching picks with the club and how legendary it will be. So I'm just blessed. You know, I thank God for everything. I tried to play this game without it, but they told me that I probably needed to and not to change nothing else. So I'm just grateful that we came through with the win. Andrew, take me back. Three weeks ago, you guys are on the doormat, man. How do you guys get up off of that thing and get to this point? I mean, we believed in our team from the jump. We knew that we had a special group of guys. We knew that. You know that, that this was a possibility and more after this so we're just happy we're happy to be here we're happy we're not going nowhere so yeah, you got a you got a championship photo to take with your teammates i'll step aside here for just a second as we continue this live post game scene from inside allegiant stadium here in las vegas again the boise state football team three weeks ago was given a 0.1 percent chance of winning the mountain west conference championship and look at the scene before your very eyes they are the 2023 mountain west champions this is the fifth time since joining the league they have hoisted this hardware the fourth time in a Mountain West Conference championship game back when they won it in 2012. There were no there were there was no division play. There was no conference championship game. So they shared that title. This is the fourth time they've won it outright in the Mountain West. The fifth overall time they've won it in the league. That is the most of any team in the league. Team pictures to obviously commemorate the moment. These guys so deserving to be at this very moment in their lives, considering all they went through this season. Alexander Tubner, the defensive MVP of the 2023 Mountain West Conference Championship game. You want me to say it again? The, the, the defensive MVP of the 2023 Mountain West Conference Championship game uh, in a city that you actually have a little bit of history in with your pops. I know that he was here. What does this moment mean to you? Uh, I mean, my, yeah, I was born here. It's cool. I got, I got 12 people from Seaside out here. And, but the most important thing is being with my brothers today here after everything that we went through, to see this through, to see our goal through and to finish. Man, this has been years in the making, and I'm so incredibly proud of this team, and I'm so blessed. And I'm gonna, if I keep talking about it, I'm gonna, I might start crying. So I got... <laughs> No, man, I'm so proud of these boys. Proud of, I'm happy that Coach D came back for us. And the way that we finished, man, I, I just, it's like a broken record, man. I keep on saying it, but I'm so, I'm so proud. You uh, had a chance to get on that stage and, and deliver a message. What was that message you delivered there, Alexander? And uh, it was a little loud in here, so I don't know if the people back in Boise heard it, but what did you say? Hey, I got to go take a. Oh, get out, no. get out. Go do it. You'll be back. You'll be back. Alexander Tubner got to pose for a little bit of a, a secondary team photo here. We're going to grab him back here in just a second. They're rushing the trophy over right now for this team photo with the secondary. On the stage right now, Shea Oladipo, a couple of big time tackles, including one that forced a third and long in the first half that UNLV never really overcame. That really halted their momentum early on in this contest. While we're looking at these defensive backs, take a picture. How about the pride of Bora High School, Austin Bolt, man, what a journey it has been for you, Austin, to get to this moment. You had to be oh so patient. Was it worth the wait? Oh yeah, big time. Yeah, and no, it was great, great rig. We got a great reward tonight. Excited for this team, and I'm excited that we got all this win. 
It's been such a journey for you to get back health-wise. What was it like when that ball from Talon was up in the air through this translucent NFL uh, roof venue? I mean, did that thing take forever to come down? What were you thinking about? Well, there's was a great call by Bush. I saw that ball coming out of nowhere. I mean, it's a great ball by TG too, but uh, yeah, no, it felt like it was just 10, 10, took 10 years for that ball to come down and made sure I had to catch that thing and score for a touchdown. You scored like a million touchdowns at Bora High School. Where does this one rank in your uh, your football career? This is definitely probably my favorite one for sure. Yeah, this is definitely, uh, this is definitely one I'm gonna remember for the rest of my life. Awesome Bolt, a Mountain West champ. Proud of you, bud. You came a long way. Let's continue to just kind of make our way through the scene. Uh, players all over the field. I'm going to see who I can grab here in just a minute as you continue to kind of consume the scene. Maybe I'll see if the MVP wants to join me here for just a second. Talon Green, the 2023 Mountain West Conference Championship game MVP, has a nice little ring to it. Yes, sir, it does, you know, but it's not me. You know, I got to give thanks to God and I got to. I got thanks to my teammates. Couldn't do it without them. You know, I can't do it without my defense. And it's a team sport, special teams too. So, you know, I'm just grateful for, uh, for the opportunity. You look at the fact that you, I'm, I'm bringing up a negative. I'm going to come back with a lot of positives here. You throw the pick early on. It seemed like Bush instilled a lot of confidence or had a lot of confidence in you, still attacking the field vertically. How much did that kind of help you stay in the game and continue to gain some momentum? Yeah, we've been building, we've been talking about that since January, you know, just just how you respond to adversity, because you know bad things are going to happen. You know a football game is four quarters, and it's about how you respond. It's how you respond. It's a next play mentality, and just having him still calling the shots even when I threw that pick, it speaks volumes to how much he trusts me. And you know I just have to do my part and just trust it and just go through my progression each play. Taylor, at one point in time this season, and all the adversity it's thrown at you, it almost felt like that would have been a moment where you would have gone to the bench in previous games, and you got to stay in this game. What did that mean to you? Um, I just I just kept it one play at a time and like like I said, you know, I really couldn't my thing was not get too high, not get too low, just stay neutral and just trust my teammates because my teammates trusted me. You know, you know, I have a job to do and just do it one one play at a time. Some of the stuff you guys go through just to show up here and play on Saturday can be awfully crazy. Um, how tough is Taylor Green? You know, I can't I can't take all the all the credit, you know. It starts with it starts with in practice, you know, when Bush is hitting us with our, the crown uh, cushions and just beating us up. But at the same time, you know, just giving it to the QBs, you know, um, and on the sideline, just doing the adjustments and all that, just making my job a lot better. So what does it mean to just stand here, confetti and all your brothers that you've been through everything with? I mean, does this make it all worth it? It does. It makes it all worth it. I'm grateful. I'm just grateful to be on the on the field. I'm grateful for Bronco Nation coming out. And I'm just thankful. I'm a, I got, get out, get out there, get over there, have some fun. Taylor Green, over 200 yards passing, 90 yards rushing, four total touchdowns, an incredible performance by Taylor Green. I'm going to get a quick word now with Spencer Danielson. Over to your right here, John Mark. Follow me around. Spencer. I got to, I got to get a quick word with you. John Mark, look to your right. I got, I got the man of the hour. No, back. Over here, there we go. The man of the hour, Spencer Danielson, man. Man, you you uh you attack adversity with a certain vigor that I almost feel like is unmatched. A love, a passion that we see pour out on the field every game day. What does it mean to you be standing here right now? Oh, I just I'm overwhelmed, Jay. Just so thankful for these players. I mean, we've talked about a lot, every opportunity to flinch and never did. And so when bad things happen on the field, it's all about the next play. Keep swinging, stay in it. And these guys did it because they love each other. And I adore them and seeing them achieve what they've done, they deserve all the credit. And thank you, Jesus. I'm just blessed to be a part of it. Alexander Tubner uh, used his stage to express some words of affection, we'll call it for you. This continues to happen every time one of your players gets a microphone in front of their face, Spencer. I, how, how do you process all of this? I'm overwhelmed just because of how much I love these kids. And when they say those things, it just, I adore them so much. At the end of the day, this isn't about me. This is about Boise State, Bronco Nation, these kids. But it, it just, when they bring those things up, I adore these young men. Seven years at Boise State. You came here as a graduate assistant. You have worked your way up from a position coach to a defensive coordinator. Now you're the interim head coach for the second time in your career. How badly do you want to be in Boise moving forward, Spencer? This is my dream job, Jay. It's my dream job because I love these kids. 
And at the end of the day, I trust the good Lord, whatever happens after that, but that's point blank, end of story. I want to ask you about Taylor Green really quick because he threw an interception early in this game, and I feel like there was a point in time in the season where maybe that would have put him on the sideline for a series or two. They come back out, and, and it seems like Bush Hamden wanted to make sure that he knew that he believed in Taylor yeah, Green. Sure. Start taking shots downfield, up-tempo offense. It was the exact opposite of what we've seen at moments in time. Instead of asking Taylor to take a seat for a second, it was, no, man, this game is yours. Take it over. I, the plan that Coach Hamden and the offensive staff put together was phenomenal. I mean, they were on the attack, all, and that's what we went into it. All three phases, we thought we are going to be on the attack. Every play, every moment, we're going to be on the attack, and they did that. And it's not always going to be perfect, but it's all about the next play. And Taylor Green just continued to swing all game long, and so proud of him. That entire offense, our entire team just stayed, because things did not go perfectly at all times tonight. But when you stay in it and you stay together, you win championships. What do you do tonight, Spencer? I mean, these last three weeks have had to have been an absolute whirlwind. You're going to play in a bowl game on December 16th, so you have a moment to breathe. What do you do tonight just to soak it in? Jay, that's a great question. I'm probably going to, when I get home to Boise, sit on the couch <laughs> and probably start crying again because how much I love these kids, um, and they deserve it all. You keep pushing all of us to tears here, Spencer. Spencer Danielson, the interim head coach of the Boise State football team. The players have spoken. They want that interim tag removed. Go enjoy this one, Spencer. Appreciate you. What a fun scene on the field here in Las Vegas with the Boise State football team. I think we're just going to go ahead and keep this thing going. I know we got the news at 5 coming up here in just a few minutes. So jump on over to Channel 7. Uh, as we'll join you during the news at five. Again, that's a few minutes away. While the scene continues to unfold on the field, though, we are going to keep it here on KTVB.com as we try to show you all the sights and sounds of Boise State's fifth ever Mountain West Conference Championship. Ahmed Hassanin, first team all Mountain West defensive end, 12 sacks on the season, a forced fumble tonight. You know, you're such an emotional guy. I don't even know where to go with this one for you, Ahmed, but what does it mean to be in here this moment? Five years ago, you hardly even know what this sport is. You're standing as a first-team All-Mountain West player in the middle of an NFL venue as a champion. Man, I can't, I can't describe how I'm feeling right now. It's, it's, it's a blessing, and I'm super grateful. You said it, man. Five years ago, I didn't even know I was going to be here. I look like all that confetti, all that trophy, my teammates, my dad, my, everybody is just, it's a feeling that I cannot describe and I'm blessed and grateful. It's, it's just a, it's a feeling, man, that I cannot describe. You, you know how far it came. I, I didn't even know I was gonna play football. I didn't know even what football was. And to be here, to, I'm blessed. I'm, I'm really grateful. All glory to God. I'm just so grateful to be here and to be champ, to be called champ and can't wait to come next year and do it again. <laughs> Already looking ahead. Enjoy this one for just a second. Um, how much fun has this, have these last three weeks been? And to see it end like this, it, it just seemed absolutely poetic. Man, it's, you see Coach D, you see how we feel about Coach D. It's, it's a, other than he's a great man and other than he's a great coach, he's a great leader. I mean, we, we wanted to get it done for him. And even I talked, I talked to Jeremiah too, and I told him that's that's our guy, man. That's 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 what we that's that's what we want. That's our guy. I would die for him. And you saw what we did tonight. Uh, you see that score. You see that scoreboard. It's just we flew all the way to the base. All that thing. All that thing that we've been through. Coach, head coach get fired. We don't know what's the season gonna be. We don't know if we're gonna make it to that championship. And now we're here. It's it's a blessing. And man, Coach D just told us take it one. Give me two more weeks. Two more weeks at a time. Two more weeks. We gave him two more weeks. Now give him three more weeks. Three more weeks. And. We, we're about to hit that ball game and get that one too. But we're real blessed and grateful that we're in the position right now. When it came to this game tonight, again, UNLV's offense, they refer to as the go-go offense. Yeah. You guys put up the stop sign quite frequently. How were you guys able to be so effective on defense? I mean, you see, they're, they're doing a lot of, they're doing a really good job with just like a lot of weed formations in the beginning. And we just, we know that we're going to come to this game and and uh, we, we're expecting a lot of things. And 
we're expecting that they're going to take shots, they're going to make plays, and just to not to respond to that and just to not look ahead of ourselves and take it one play at a time, one quarter at a time, and do that. And we know that they're going to do a lot of weird formations. So we just read our keys, do our job, do our 111, and go get after the quarterback. And our back end, they could have done a better job. How many turnovers? Two turnovers. It's, it's huge. Huge momentum of the game. So I'm... We're grateful and blessed, and man, I can't wait. I can't wait to celebrate with my teammates. <laughs> Go celebrate that. I'm not going to make you wait anymore. Ahmed Hassanin, again, one of the best pass rushers, not just in the Mountain West, but in college football over these last few weeks.